While we've heard of epic super yachts with mansion-like interiors, Travis Scott decided to splurge on something a little different, a lavish LA mansion designed to look like a billionaire's yacht. The rapper's Brentwood abode has everything he could ever need in a paradise at sea or on land. There's an epic infinity pool with an underwater sound system, an outdoor motor court on the home's roof, and ample space for entertaining. Scott is worth about $50 million at the time we're making this video, and his new home certainly represents his growing wealth. Let's head inside and see why this mansion is one of LA's most innovative new homes. In June 2020, Travis Scott dropped a staggering $23.5 million in cash for this massive mansion in Los Angeles' ritzy Brentwood neighborhood. Newly built and originally listed for $42 million, the purchase was actually quite the steal for the rapper. It has been used to host celebrity parties and already had quite the reputation for being one of LA's coolest new homes. The 17,000-square-foot futuristic mansion definitely resembles a massive yacht. It's made up of levels of decks with plenty of giant glass windows and walls. It features a huge infinity pool that adds to the seaside characteristics. Inside, there are seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and three powder rooms across three opulent levels. Travis Scott doesn't have to worry about getting around his epic home since it's also outfitted with a commercial-quality high-speed glass elevator. The home's interior features various upscale amenities like a 610-bottle wine cellar and a movie theater that seats 13. There's also a state-of-the-art gym outfitted with flat-screen TVs, a sauna, and a lower-level entertainment area. It's decked out with a full bar and pool table. The rapper's kitchen is spacious and tricked out with modern appliances. There's an informal dining space nearby and the home has plenty of lounges and living areas. They offer comfort, views, and space for socializing. The mansion's master suite is particularly impressive and we can definitely see Travis Scott making himself at home in this suite setup. The bedroom features a seating area with spectacular views, a walk-in closet, and a jumbo bathroom with his and hers sinks. Included in the home's many features is an ambient lighting system that mimics nature. And we're sure you didn't miss the jumbo sliding glass doors for easy indoor-outdoor living that add to the home's natural yet modern theme. If we head outside to the yard, we're left a little speechless by just how much luxury is packed into the 10,000-square-foot garden space. Of course, there's the 75-foot Infinity Edge pool with an underwater sound system, but the yard also makes use of a jacuzzi and a tranquil 400-square-foot zen garden. There's ample entertaining and dining space with poolside loungers, couches, armchairs, and even outdoor TVs. You'll also notice a 300-square-foot green wall located on the exterior of the mansion's lowest level. The Mega Mansion offers Travis Scott plenty of room for his car collection. There's a three-car enclosed garage and space for more than 15 cars in the outdoor motor court that's located on the home's roof. The hip-hop artist is known to have such an extensive car collection that he can't even remember all the models he owns. The collection includes a $3 million Bugatti Chiron, a West Coast Custom Special Lamborghini Aventador SV worth over $497,000, a $130,000 Custom Range Rover, a $325,000 Ferrari 488, and a $1 million Maybach G650 Londolette. No wonder the rapper invested in a home with the perfect space for showing them all off. Travis Scott's mansion is certainly unique, but where did the inspiration for the innovative project come from? The Mega Mansion is the brainchild of Southern California-based architectural firm DeLorean & Associates. Through its creation, they combined the luxury of roaming the seas in a massive yacht with all the wellness standards of a modern mansion. The home's design is inspired by the clean lines and interior spatial layouts of yachts. There are also features that emphasize the movement of the ocean, for example, this spiraling staircase and these wave-like patterns. The mansion's curving exterior facades invoke imagery of waves, wind, and clouds. There's even a water wall designed by Mario Romano that brings the ripples of the ocean to life through the clever interior design. The architecture is also inspired by mathematical forms found in nature you'll notice lots of spirals, slopes, and interesting angles. When the property was first listed back in 2019, the firm touted the mansion as a triumph in design, crafted for its residents and guests to live a healthy lifestyle and enjoy special moments. 
To emphasize healthy living, they made sure to craft each element of the house to meet the Delos Well Building Certification Standards, a system that focuses on making indoor spaces as healthy and conducive to wellness as possible. It highlights requirements in seven main areas, air, water, nourishment, light, fitness, comfort, and mind. The materials in the home help bring nature into these indoor spaces, making everything feel open and rejuvenating. Renowned Japanese artist Toshi Kawabata created three custom wood pieces for the home, including a curved walnut bar. The mansion is also outfitted with many marble elements which were all hand-selected and imported from Italy. In addition to being luxurious and good for the mind, body, and soul, the yacht-inspired mansion is literally a piece of art. DeLorean and Associates knew the home would be visible from the J. Paul Getty Museum and approached the design knowing it would be an extension of the museum experience. From a distance, it catches the eye and doesn't let go, making Travis Scott's new mansion one of the biggest stars in LA architecture. There's no doubt that Travis Scott's Brentwood Mansion is a pretty pricey purchase, but it's only the rapper's second major real estate buy. He's definitely starting off strong and getting his foot in the door with some unique luxury properties. Scott's first major purchase was going 50-50 with on-again, off-again girlfriend Kylie Jenner on this $13.5 million Beverly Hills mansion, which they still co-own. Scott and Jenner share a daughter together and the property is a perfect family home. The 1970s estate received an extensive renovation two years before the couple bought it. It was turned into a more contemporary living environment with 9,680 square feet of interior space, including 10 bathrooms. There are many open-concept living areas and a main indoor-outdoor living-slash-dining area with European oak floors, modern fixtures, and a built-in fireplace. The home also features a nice chef's kitchen with an oversized center island that opens up to an outdoor dining area. The mansion comes with a wine cellar and an opulent master bedroom that offers 2,300 square feet of space with city and ocean views. The mansion's exterior spaces are just as, if not even more impressive, with a patio that descends into a lavish swimming pool and spa. Dense landscaping adds privacy and personality to the backyard while also adding some extra oomph to the stunning view. The roughly one-acre land the mansion sits on also features a dining area, three-car garage, and guest house. What expensive home will Travis Scott purchase next? You can't call yourself one of the best rappers in the world if you aren't prepared to drop tens of millions on a house that says it for you. With a net worth of $1.4 billion, frankly I'm surprised that Jay-Z and Beyonce's $88 million Bel Air Mega Mansion is so cheap. That's no mistake though, because despite an initial asking price of $120 million, they actually managed to cut a deal. Despite that, it was still the biggest purchase Los Angeles County saw in 2017. The space originally held a Colonial Revival Mansion that was torn down for this mansion to take its place in 2013. The sixth structure, 30,000 square foot mansion features 8 bed, 11 bath, a 15 car garage, 4 pools, and a basketball court behind an iron gate. From above, it looks like the classiest airport in Los Angeles. Inside is nothing but class and surprisingly little flash. Marble floor bathrooms, a simple white spiral staircase, and a home theater perfect for family movie nights paints the picture of a happy family life rather than a wild Hollywood lifestyle. Back in the days before a failed presidential run, a pending divorce, and the surprisingly seductive charms of Pete Davidson, it looked like billionaire power couple Kanye West and Kim Kardashian owned it all. Part of their empire was the luxurious $60 million home they built together, described by West as a futuristic Belgian monastery. Once you look at it, you really see what he means. When he was a kid, West unsurprisingly took on a lot of hobbies and interests. One of those happened to be architecture. This passion combined with Kardashian sense of style filled the all-white house with things like a Jean Royer polar bear sofa which can cost up to six hundred thousand dollars by itself. He also brought in illustrious designers to redesign the home for the couple. It has a minimalist feel where every item is specifically chosen for its artistic value. Even the vases are worth upwards of seventeen thousand 
thousand dollars. Alas, this mansion that bears so much of West's style and imagination is likely to go to Kim in the divorce. Kanye's latest home is stylish, but seems a little bit cramped. This $57.3 million Malibu property may be right off the shore, but it's also squished in between the two other properties on either side. I mean, it looks a lot nicer than Davidson's $1.3 million house that he bought with his mom, so I guess he wins that one? Seeing as he's worth $200 million and he's one of the most famous people in the world, you'd think that Drake would live in a preposterously decadent home worth a staggering amount of money. And you'd be right. The Toronto Drake Manor may be one of the nicest homes that money can buy, as long as you have a spare $100 million to buy it. Drake apparently wanted to build the kind of estate in his hometown that would be a landmark long after he'd gone. Every square inch of the place is an art deco masterpiece. I mean, it's basically a museum with its own NBA regulation size indoor basketball court with a pyramidal skylight. Even the master bath has a 4,000 pound black marble tub and a two-story closet. It also has a state-of-the-art recording studio, an awards room that celebrates his entire career, and an indoor swimming pool. So yeah, it definitely seems worth that 100 mil. Would you ever expect Sean P. Diddy Combs to live in a house that wasn't worth 40 million? Of course not. Diddy has amassed over $740 million over a varied career in Hollywood. So his Beverly Hills mega mansion better show that off, right? The 17,000 square foot European style villa has everything, including one acre of land, a swimming pool with an underground tunnel, a movie theater big enough for 35 people, a sauna, a massage room, and a wine cellar. That's not all though, because Diddy also has a home in Atlanta for $2.6 million set on seven acres of land. This features amenities like a tennis court, five garages, another pool, and 11 bathrooms. Those both have gone a lot better than his failed Upper East Side mega mansion. He dropped $12 million on this prime piece of real estate in 1998. Then he sold it for $14.3 million in 2004 after those plans utterly fell apart. Yeah, this didn't hurt him that much at all. Diddy isn't the only one who's been hit by rough real estate markets. 50 Cent tried to sell his Connecticut mansion for $18.5 million, but after 12 years on the market, it was picked up for $2.9 million. Back in 2003, 50 Cent purchased the home from boxer Mike Tyson for $4.1 million. It features 52 rooms, an indoor and outdoor pool, game rooms, a recording studio, indoor and outdoor basketball courts, and a freaking nightclub. It even featured on an episode of Cribs where he showed off all the rooms that I'm pretty sure he never stepped foot in. After going through a rough period of bankruptcy and then a big comeback via hit shows like Power, 50 Cent has now surprised us all yet again by going full Texan. That's right, he's even sporting a cowboy hat. Rumor has it that he's trying to snag the legendary Darth Vader house. Built in 1992 by a plastic surgeon and lifelong Star Wars fan, he made his dreams come true by building this mysterious house. It sold to a mystery buyer for $4.3 million, which many think may be 50 Cent himself. The sentence, rap icon Dr. Dre bought a Brentwood mansion from quarterback Tom Brady for $40 million, is officially the coolest sentence I've ever said. The Brady couple bought the land for $11.75 million in 2008 and then dropped $20 million building on it. Seeing as Dre is worth $820 million, this probably didn't set him back that much. The home features 18,298 square feet, five bedrooms, and a wine cellar. It also has a security system that went through quite the test. After his aneurysm was reported in the news, thieves attempted to break into the home. After a short chase, they were apprehended, though they probably did have the coolest story in prison. Marshall Mathers may have started out in a trailer park, but Eminem is worth $230 million and as of right now, has lived in the same $1.4 million Michigan home since September of 2000. His primary residence looks like a souped up version of any suburban home with plain brown brickwork and plenty of space out front for SUVs. Then there was his Detroit home that he originally purchased for $4.75 million in 2003. That's a lot more what you would expect. Known as the Kmart Mansion since its previous owner was Kmart's Charles Conaway, this house boasts 17,000 square feet, six bedrooms, and nine and a half bathrooms. 
On top of that, it features a tennis court, a waterfall pool, a spa, and a substantial guest home. Unfortunately, he was only able to sell the place for under $2 million in 2017. Apparently, even a rap god can lose millions on a bad real estate deal. Is anyone living a better life right now than Machine Gun Kelly? He's currently worth $10 million, is in Hollywood's hottest couple with Megan Fox, and he sleeps in a $1.2 million home. Wait, that doesn't sound as expensive as I thought it would. That's because he's been battling out with his middle class neighbors for years. Apparently his wild 30th birthday party had cars parked all over the street and had threats of violence from other homeowners like Jeff Lewis. I don't know what it is about Kelly that makes people want to punch him. Jeff Lewis, Eminem, and even Conor McGregor all want to take a swing. So it's no surprise that he and Megan Fox have shacked up in a $30,000 a month Los Angeles Airbnb. It has a pool, a basketball court, and even a spa. Lil Nas X is a true star on the rise. From his start with small viral videos, he is now worth upwards of $7 million. So naturally, it's about time he got his starter mansion, which he just did for $2.3 million. It doesn't have all the amenities that many other stars have in their homes, but for a first place, it's not too bad. A hot tub, a private balcony, and a luxurious open space are quite a lot from a poor kid who amassed a small fortune by the time he was 22. He bragged about the new place online, but already announced his intentions to create the next home he moves into. You just know that one's gonna be crazy. Lil Wayne didn't need a Winn-Dixie grocery bag full of money to pay for his new $15.4 million mansion in California. At the time of producing this video, the hip-hop superstar had a net worth of $170 million, so it's no surprise that he recently bought a fabulous estate in the gated community of Hidden Hills. Lil Wayne's new property features a luxurious farmhouse-style mansion, an elegant guest house, and a slew of high-end amenities. Today, we're going to take you on a tour of Lil Wayne's incredible Hidden Hills Mansion. We'll also show you some of the other stunning homes he's owned over the years. Let's get started. There's more to Lil Wayne's new Hidden Hills estate than just a stunning mansion. There are actually two houses on the property. The 10,000-square-foot farmhouse-style mansion is the main feature, but the 2,135-square-foot guesthouse at the bottom of the hill is impressive in its own right. The mansion and guesthouse have a combined seven bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms, and the entire property spans 3.3 acres. Both the front and backyard are perfectly manicured. Lil Wayne must pay his gardener big bucks to get the lawn striping just right. Beautiful olive trees and shrubs dot the property and a classic white picket fence surrounds the entire estate. The driveway, which is made up of large rectangular concrete slabs, leads to a four-car garage at the side of the mansion. There's plenty of space for Lil Wayne to park his supercars. Before we take a peek inside the mansion, let's take a look at some of the luxurious amenities in the backyard. There are plenty of places for Lil Wayne and his crew to hang out. The stunning Infinity Edge pool looks like a great place to escape the sweltering California sun. There's also an inset spa attached to the pool where Lil Wayne can chill and sip on some Cristal. In the far corner of the backyard, you'll find a basketball court, and the full outdoor kitchen looks like a great place to cook up some grub. The outdoor kitchen is equipped with a barbecue and bar area complete with bar stools. There are also two outdoor dining areas in the backyard, both of which are covered by large awnings and connect directly to the mansion. One outdoor dining area leads to the mansion's living room, while the other leads to Lil Wayne's gym. Let's see just how luxurious Lil Wayne's mansion is on the inside. Every single room in the incredible abode exudes opulence. The first thing you'll notice as you enter the foyer is the massive grand staircase. Right underneath the staircase sits a temperature-controlled wine cellar that can hold hundreds of bottles of expensive vino and bubbly. Right next to the wine cellar sits a grand piano. The expensive accent piece makes the foyer even more luxurious. The second story of the mansion has five bedrooms. In fact, every bedroom is located on the second floor. Each bedroom has an ensuite bathroom and they're all filled with high-end furnishings. The master bedroom is particularly impressive. 
The bright white walls and hardwood floors invoke a sense of peace and tranquility. The large windows in the master bedroom offer stunning views of the surrounding hills. There are modern minimalistic chairs and a glass coffee table right in front of the marble-backed fireplace. It's a great place for Lil Wayne to enjoy a cup of coffee and read the morning paper. The master bedroom also has a spacious sitting area with a sofa and a daybed. It's surrounded by bay windows that bring in plenty of natural light. The attached walk-in closet is more than enough for Lil Wayne's gigantic sneaker collection. The master bathroom also features plenty of large windows. It has a freestanding soaking tub, floating his and her vanities, and a marble-covered steam shower. On the main floor of the mansion, you'll find a blacked-out wet bar complete with a flat-screen TV. What better place to watch the game? The wet bar leads directly to the outdoor kitchen. The mansion's indoor kitchen is far more luxurious. It's outfitted with two large islands, marble countertops, and top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances. Directly next to the kitchen is a cozy breakfast nook that's surrounded by bay windows. The breakfast nook also offers stunning views of the backyard. The aforementioned gym is equipped with treadmills and medicine balls. After an intense workout, Lil Wayne can open up the sliding French doors and relax on the patio. Lil Wayne's mansion actually has a third outdoor patio. This one is located on the side of the mansion and leads to the family room via large glass doors. The family room is both a living area and a dining area. It's equipped with a large oval dining table, high-end love seats, and a marble-backed fireplace. The living room also has a marble-backed fireplace as well as a massive sectional couch. A stylish piece of modern art sits right above the fireplace. You'll find paintings like these throughout the mansion. When Lil Wayne wants to watch the latest blockbusters, he heads over to his very own cinema. The theater room has a starry galaxy ceiling, not unlike what you would find on the inside of a Rolls Royce. The theater room also has plush seating and, of course, a massive movie screen. We didn't forget about the guest house. It's accessed via its own driveway and features a petite kitchen and cozy living area. The kitchen and living area lead to, you guessed it, an outdoor patio. Lil Wayne isn't the only celeb who calls Hidden Hills home. Kylie Jenner lives just around the corner from Lil Wayne in a fabulous $12 million, 13,200 square foot mansion. The reality TV star and entrepreneur also owns two more mansions in the neighborhood, one worth $6 million and another worth $8 million. Lil Wayne is also neighbors with Drake, Dwayne Wade, Jeffree Star, and John Stamos. The Weeknd also owns a mansion in the area, but he's in the process of selling his $22 million Hidden Hills mansion. Lil Wayne has also owned some incredible mansions in Miami over the years. He currently owns a $17 million mansion on Allison Island just off of Miami Beach. The 10,472-square-foot mansion has 110 feet of water frontage and an open-air atrium with two 20-foot living walls made of plants. The mansion even has a moat-like entrance. A moat may seem like a strange feature, but it's nothing compared to the bizarre amenities of Lil Wayne's previous homes. Before he purchased his most recent Miami home, he owned a Miami beach house that had a shark lagoon and a rooftop skate park. Lil Wayne sold that mansion in 2017 for $10 million, which was well below the $18 million he paid for it. He's worth $170 million. He's not upset about losing a few million. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that Lil Wayne's car collection is worth more than $13 million? He owns a $500,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom, a $1.8 million Bugatti Veyron, and a $1.9 million Maybach Lawn Delay. For most people, Christmas presents consist of envelopes of cash or a box of half-melted chocolates. For Cardi B and her bow offset, their latest festive gift was a $5.8 million palace. Looking like something ripped straight out of a fairy tale, their new Atlanta home has already been featured on all the highest esteemed architecture and celebrity magazines. And once we set foot inside, you'll quickly understand why. 
spread across nearly six acres of beautifully manicured land. With 22,000 square feet of unrivaled luxury, this mansion redefines the concept of opulence. Ready to take a look? Try to keep your jealousy in check. Before we venture inside this mansion fit for royalty, let's take a gander around the gardens. Sitting on nearly six acres of land, this far from humble property boasts an absolutely stunning infinity pool and spa in the front yard. And for those days when the front yard just doesn't cut it, there's another one, arguably even more opulent and stylish hanging out in the backyard, surrounded by stunning greenery and overhanging trees. Despite its location at 795 High Court Road, roughly 20 minutes outside of the city's busy center, this place really feels like a getaway in the middle of a forest. But if you thought its terraces and gardens were impressive during the day, just wait till you see it all lit up under the moonlight. Now that's what you call luxury living. When we head inside, we'll be greeted with five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, four half bathrooms, which basically takes us up to 11 bathrooms total. And no kidding, here, an indoor gun range. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, my friends. All up, the Circa 2006 home rocks a whopping 22,000 square feet. That's more than 30 times the size of the average one-bedroom New York apartment. 700 square feet, by the way. Crazy, right? Even though Cardi has already taken her loyal 56 million online followers on a tour of the house, and yes, we're definitely one of them, today we're taking a closer, exclusive look into the property's finer details and the millions of dollars worth of jealousy-inducing features scattered in every room. All right, let's put ourselves in the shoes of the rapper power couple and head inside. Prepare to have your minds blown. The first decision that Cardi B and Offset need to make before even stepping inside is which of the three front doors to enter through. Is that overkill? Eh. Anyway, the first thing we see after opening door A, B, or C is the, ah, grand entrance way, looking like it's been taken right out of Buckingham Palace. While that twisting gorgeous grand staircase, potentially worth up to $50,000 alone, is the clear focal point, the entryway also sports two chandeliers, one bigger and one smaller, and an abundance of Roman-style columns. It's not just the columns inspired by ancient Rome. The floors are imported Italian travertine stone, the identical kind used at the Colosseum see them in Rome. Even the stones in the driveway are purposely arranged to mirror the streets in the Italian capital. Talk about all-out luxury. No matter which direction you look, whether inside or out, we're greeted with expensive touches that, let's face it, only multi-millionaires could afford. Each of the rooms in this wrap pad is exemplary in its own right, so let's zoom in on a few of them. First up, the kitchen. The space is loaded with lavish amenities and countertops decked out with marble, which can cost up to $200 per square foot. It's enormous, no doubt, but what you see before you doesn't even include the massive pantry and butler's kitchen that comes with it. This secondary adjacent kitchen literally surpasses the sizes of most American bedrooms. Could this be where Cardi hides the McDonald's and Chipotle, two of her most celebrated late night cravings? Moving on from the kitchen, the master bathroom features a double shower head and a freestanding bath. Only in million dollar mansions like this one will you typically find them side by side. The bath alone could be worth upwards of $4,000. Fancy indeed, and just fancy fancy enough to match with the master bedroom. As the reigning king and queen of hip-hop, Cardi B and Offset need a bedroom fit for royalty. Just take one look at that bed frame. That, folks, is an ultimate symbol of royalty. So is the sprawling walk-in closet. If anyone owns enough shoes to fill out all those slots, it's our girl Bacardi. The duo also has access to a lounge area within the confines of their own bedroom, complete with a cozy fireplace and large balcony. Speaking of balconies, it's not often that you find them inside the house. But down in the couple's living room, that's exactly what you'll find. About halfway up the 30-foot high walls are two balconies overlooking the living room. Well, one of the two living rooms side by side. It just keeps getting more ridiculous, doesn't it? Hold on to your hats, people, because it gets even crazier. Downstairs, you'll find Cardi and Offset's 1800 bottle wine cellar. Even the wine cellar has a chandelier. Of course, there's a bar, too, where the Grammy winner can serve those wines to her nearest and dearest. The floor plan also highlights a children's playroom, an office that, let's face it, looks more like a Hogwarts library than a study nook, an outdoor terrace with its own kitchen and fireplace, and last but not least, we're not kidding here, people, Cardi B and Offset's new house even comes with its very own indoor gun range. Just let that one sink in. So with more luxury features than we could ever imagine, including materials imported from one of the world wonders, how much did this mansion actually set the pair back? The answer? A lot. The property had originally been listed for as much as $9.9 million in the spring of 2017. However, the price dropped considerably in the years following. Cardi B and Offset are rumored to have forked out $5.8 million for it. Still a sizable jump from the $1.65 million that the previous owners, Rick and Amanda Kuhlman, paid for it back in 2003. They actually rebuilt this place, inspired, go figure, by their trips to Italy. Before Cardi B and Offset signed the deed, this mansion was actually available for rent at a wallet-breaking price of $35,000 per month. 
For that much cash, you could spend a month in this beachside Malibu mansion and still have nearly 30000 left over. It equates to nearly half a million dollars per year, and for that kind of money, you could literally buy a three-bedroom house in LA. Where would you live if you had 35 k per month to spend on rent? New York, San Francisco, or Atlanta, like these guys? While we can only dream, Cardi and Offset have no trouble making it a reality. Combined, the pair currently boast a net worth of close to $50 million, basically split evenly. So even if they really want to, they could buy nine more of these palatial estates. But instead, they've spent a fair chunk of their money on cars. Thankfully, the Atlanta mansion has a four-car garage. All you need to do to get there is open this giant wooden door that's almost twice Offset's size. This is where we might find Cardi's $400,000 Lamborghini Urus, Offset's $330,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith, a gift from his better half, or the couple's matching Aventadors worth upwards of $550,000 each, which they bought to celebrate the birth of their daughter, Culture. Let's not forget the $259,000 bright orange Mercedes G-Wagon, the equally bright 156k Bentley or the 170,000 Mercedes Maybach. While Offset's a regular Sunday cruiser, despite Cardi's side of the garage being stuffed with supercars, she can't drive a single one of them. Why? Because she doesn't even have her license. But hey, when you're living it up in one of the most beautiful celebrity homes in America, why would you ever want to leave? Clearly, the real estate dollars stretch quite a bit further down in Georgia. The median list price per square foot in Atlanta is $168. In LA, it's close to $500. And in New York, it's over $1,500. Even though their house comes with extra bang for your buck, that certainly doesn't make it any less impressive. Despite forking well over $10 million on their house and cars combined, the dynamic duo still have plenty of cash left to have a good time. And they definitely want us to know about it. Cardi and Offset have been spotted throwing seriously lavish parties, and in 2020 alone, they threw not one, not two, but four enormous indoor gatherings, and as you'd expect, it created quite a stir. In October of 2020, the pair spent tens of thousands at least on a Las Vegas party attended by celebrities like Kylie Jenner, Megan Thee Stallion, and Tayana Taylor. And just two months later, in December of 2020, to celebrate Offset's 29th birthday, the on-again, off-again couple hosted a massive soiree at an Atlanta nightclub. Bonus fact time, the most expensive celebrity home isn't this one. That title goes to George Clooney, whose house in Italy is worth a staggering $100 million. Thanks for watching. See you next time.